one day, I'm I hang I'm hanging with this girl. She like, you want to go roll up? I'm like, you know what? Cool. I'm I'm settled in now. She like, you want to go roll up? I don't know why I did. Me and her kicked it. We blowing. I get back blowing, and I just kind of flipped like. Once I started back smoking and all of that, it just kind of got my mind back on some, on more like some street stuff. Cause before that, I was kind of just trying to establish myself. So I was kind of, you know, just playing it square. I don't know why I did that. It's like I'm hustling, trying to make sure I get my dorm first. Then I gotta make sure I get my classes, and then make sure I get my classes paid for, so I don't get kicked out the dorm. So I'm in line to get my dorm, and we in this big gymnasium, and I'm looking around and just seeing all kind of people coming and going. I'm in line, and this group of dudes just stood out to me, and they just sitting there. I'm like, who is these dudes? They just laughing and all that. I, I can, you know, what I'm saying I can kind of see them from a, across the room. And they all in this group of group and they just all walking together. So me, I noticed them. Now I'm getting uh, you know, I'm moving in and everything like that. Tiffany and her mom and them helped me move my my belongings in the dorm room, the male dorm room, which was cool. So all of a sudden I'm kinda sitting in my room and then guess who walks in? As my sweet mates. That same group of dudes that was, you know what I'm saying, that I had noticed in the line getting registered for my dorm and I'm like all oh, these dudes I'm gonna be over here you know what I'm saying living with these dudes in the suite I'm like wow it's kind of kind of crazy to me so my best friend was on his way to southern so he gets down there like a day after I get there and he's going through the same hustle I'm going through so I'm linking up with him now and we kind of going back and forth on campus trying to get our classes paid for. So, bam, I'm going through all these different offices and I'm basically begging, like, man, I do not want to come back to Minnesota. Whatever you got for me, I'm staying. So, I'm in these offices and then at the last minute, they like, okay, Mr. Williams, he looked out for me. So, he basically, I went in his office and basically was just like, man, I don't want to go home. You know what I'm saying? He was he was like my last resort. So he got my I got my transcripts and all that. I had to do so much tedious stuff that I didn't know nothing about. It was nerve wracking. So I got all my transcripts from high school and all that stuff. And then financial aid walking over to this office and just so I get my classes paid for. I'm good. My best friend, he like man. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to take out this. I don't want to do that. This fool leaves me again, pretty much. But we actually did get a chance to chop it up on campus for a couple of days. So by the time he got to campus, I then met a few people, hanging out and all that, and just kind of, you know, networking and just doing stuff in the in the meantime. So this dude ended up leaving me though. So I'm way across country. I'm supposed to be going with this dude. He the reason why I even know about Southern. Never heard of Southern A&M College. None of that. It's like, dude, you gonna leave me? But at that time, I'm like, you know what? I'm grown. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I think I, I turned 20 at that time. I was 20, so I'm good. Like I'm, I ain't worried about it. But it, I was still kind of hurt though, cause in a lot of ways, I wanted him to ride shotgun with me, cause it was us, our dream. But anyway, he kind of just was like, forget it. Let me, left me hanging. And I'm salty, like, dang. So what happened was with him, he asked his cousin that he was talking about, you know what I'm saying, from the beginning, he goes and stays with him in Baton Rouge off campus. He like, man, I'm trying to stay down here for like a year so I ain't got to pay out of state fees. So he goes and lives with a family member or something like that. So he's still in Baton Rouge, but he ain't in Southern. So I'm kind of networking and all of that. So like, what happened was I sobered up, trying to make sure I get, you know what I'm saying, my mind right. So I quit blowing and all that. I quit smoking and all of that. Quit, you know what I'm saying? I really wasn't even no drinker or nothing like that. So for like the first, 
I want to say like the first at least month on campus, I'm just on my square stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just going to class, trying to trying to make sure I establish myself. I'm hanging with a few different people here and there. I ain't even dealing with my sweet mates at the time. I'm just coming and going. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Not even, I know them, I met them. You know what I'm saying? I found out where they were from. Yeah, I had like a couple homies from Detroit and then Atlanta and Memphis, you know what I'm saying? So I'm coming and going, but I ain't really sat down and chopped it up with them. And then I met one of the homies from LA named Tony. And so we kicked it. And then I met him through Trey, which was from Arizona. And in college, man, you just gonna be networking. I met a bunch of dudes from Shreveport, Louisiana, all that stuff, just kind of in and out of the campus, New Orleans, all of that. So um, one day, I'm, I hang, I'm hanging with this girl. She like, you wanna go roll up? I'm like, you know what? Cool, I'm, I'm settled in now. She like, you wanna go roll up? I don't know why I did. Me and her kicked it, we blowing. I get back blowing and I just kind of flipped. Like once I started back smoking and all of that, it just kind of got my mind back on some, on more like some street stuff. Cause before that I was kind of just trying to establish myself. So I was kind of, you know, just playing it square. I don't know why I did that. <laughs>